Hey y'all, so as you know, we've been telling you over and over again, we're gonna bring you the best products in the barbecue industry. But not just that, we're gonna bring you the tips and the tricks and all the secrets along with it too. I have people sending me questions all the time and I wanna dive into some of those with you today. The first question that I got this week, I ask if it is necessary to remove wood pellets when the grill is idle. It is absolutely not necessary for you to remove the pellets from your grill. Now, there are some stipulations here. If you put your wood pellet inside the garage or underneath the canopy or somewhere that's out of the weather or under a cover, absolutely not necessary. But if a hurricane's coming, you probably should uh, do more than just get rid of the pellets and you should probably put your pellet grill somewhere where it's out of the elements. And question number two is one of my favorites. Have you ever bought the competition pellets from Pit Boss and they're different colors each time that you buy them. Yes, they're always different, and if they weren't, I'd be disappointed. If somebody was trying to sell you a painting and they said this is a one of a kind and has never been done before, you would expect it to be one of a kind. When you're buying quality products, you get quality products. So, that being said, you're not getting some imitation thing that is being done over and over and over again. So as some people would say that no trees are the same, no pellets are gonna be the same because you are getting the wood from those trees that are not the same. And question number three, what do you think about my new setup? Son, you didn't come here for a question. You came here for a reaction because that is awesome. How did you get half your grill in the Honey, you need anything from Lowe's?